Hi, can anyone guess what bird this is? It lives right here in America in some of the most populated areas on the west coast. This is the California condor. It has a wingspan, which is a measurement from one tip of the wing to the other, of three meters, which is about 10 feet wide. They have black and white colored feathers, and some of their feathers on their wings are over two feet long. The picture at the top is a flight feather, which is on the tips of the wings of the California condor. Next to it is a pen to show how large it is. Below is a picture of a condor flight feather and a tail feather next to a hawk and an owl feather. They have red-orange colored heads and necks with no feathers to keep themselves clean while eating. They are scavengers, which means they eat already dead animals and do not hunt. They are very important when it comes to keeping our environments clean. They have been seen eating dead cattle, sheep, rabbits, deer, coyotes, whales, wild and farm pigs, and even seals and other birds. The key thing to remember is that they do not hunt. They only eat things that are already dead. This helps to keep the places from being covered with rotting animals. They're basically the garbage men and women of the animal world. California condors are the largest flying land bird in North America. They use warm thermal winds or wind currents to soar up to 15,000 feet in the air. Just to put that into perspective, that most airplanes fly at 30,000 feet. They very rarely flap their large wings to fly. Condors can fly up to 55 miles per hour while gliding. They mostly rely on strong winds to soar large distances, and they can fly as far as 150 miles a day in search of food. I know the California condor doesn't have the face of a Disney princess, but it is very important for its daily life. They have very good eyesight, which they use to spot carcasses while flying up to 15,000 feet in the air. California condors have two eyelids. That's right, two. The inner eyelid is for protecting their eyes while they eat, and the outer eyelid is for a normal eye function and sleeping. You can see this on the bottom right side of the screen. It's an opaque or gray colored eyelid. The holes on the front of its face, or in front of the eyes, are the nose. They don't have a very good sense of smell, just like other vultures. The hole that you can see behind the eyes is actually their ears. They have excellent hearing. As you can see, they have a very sharp beak as well. It has a sharp point that they use to tear and grab at their meals, and their jaw is very strong. Now, adult condors might not win the award for most beautiful bird, but their babies are very cute. They start off almost featherless and quickly grow fluffy gray feathers. They do not have a bald or red-orange head until they mature and get their adult black and white thick, long feathers. Their mothers tend to them until they are old enough to leave the nest. Their nests are usually tucked away in the mountains in crevices to keep them safe from predators and the elements. They lay one egg at a time, and they don't nest every year. It takes about 54 to 58 days for them to hatch. The California condor is unfortunately still on the critically endangered list. This means that there aren't many wild condors left. Many of them started to die when hunters introduced lead bullets into their region. Hunters often leave bullets behind, leaving them in the guts of the animals they shot. The condors love eating the insides or guts of animals, and they would accidentally eat the bullets. This gave them lead poisoning, which killed the adults and made the eggs very fragile and brittle. The U.S. government collected the remaining California condors back in 1985 to create a rehabilitation program where they were hand-raised. This program was designed to breed the condors in zoos and other places and then release them back into the wild. It has been very successful and the wild population has increased from 25 to 446. I am sure some of you are wondering why some of the pictures on the screens before had California condors with numbers on their wings. This is so we can track the condors when we release them back into the wild. Condors live in California, Utah, Arizona, and even Mexico. You can see it on the map in the top left corner. What is really crazy is most of the wild condors live near Los Angeles. Los Angeles has 3.98 million people living in it, which creates a lot of trash and opportunities for humans and condors to interact by accident. This is where you guys come in. You can help the condors every day by making sure that the trash ends up in the trash bin and by recycling and supporting government efforts to grow our wild condor population. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find any other additional information on the California condor or how you can help them, please visit these websites.